Guard is also taking time to pay tribute to four of its own. Fox News reporter Andrew Perez spoke with a commandant of the U.S. Coast Guard, and he has more now from New Orleans. Coast Guard leaders say tonight's ceremony is very bittersweet. On the one hand, they're celebrating the accomplishments of the U.S. Coast Guard. On the other, they're remembering four brave crew members involved in the tragedy in Mobile Bay. It's a ceremony celebrating the accomplishments of the United States Coast Guard 8th District. But at this ceremony, Coast Guard leaders set aside time to pay tribute to those crew members who have fallen. I caught up with the Commandant of the U.S. Coast Guard who spent the day in Mobile just days after a devastating helicopter crash. I went over to Aviation Training Center Mobile because I wanted to personally go over there and talk to the families of our lost shipmates, uh, give them some love, give them some comfort. Uh, it also ends up being therapeutic for me because they're very strong people. The helicopter crash in Mobile Bay has impacted servicemen and women far and wide. But many say the sacrifices of these men have not gone unnoticed. The untimely events in Mobile, you know, weigh heavy on everyone's mind. There'll be a moment of silence and uh, there'll be some uh, uh, conversation, you know, about the incident in Mobile. The award ceremony in New Orleans, hosted by the Coast Guard Foundation, brought servicemen and women from around our area. Those who have served said the job is worth the risks, but it's by no means easy. The work that the Coast Guard does is as dangerous and potentially life-threatening as any work that the other four services do. There is inherent risk when you work in the maritime, particularly when you're out there at night or in storms. But that's when the Coast Guard has to go to work, so we have to train that way as well. The Coast Guard Foundation says it hosts this award dinner about nine times a year. The ceremony is meant to raise awareness and money for those who serve our community. Organizers say they will help the families affected by this tragedy any way they can. Reporting in New Orleans, I'm Andrew Perez, Fox 10 News.